Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of Vlogmas. On today's episode, I am going to be giving you an updated tour of my Animal Crossing Island now that it's winter time. If you haven't already, you can watch my original Animal Crossing Island tour video. I filmed this back in May, I believe. So it was like a month after I had started the game. So feel free to watch that to compare what my island looks like now and to get the details about my island. All right, let's get started. Welcome to Sunnydale. This is the first part of my island I wanna show you. It's just a little beach area. Um, up here I have a little sand castle, my lighthouse, and some plants that I tried to make look like strawberries. This is like my gardening section, I guess. And then these are supposed to be cauliflower and of course my pumpkins. And I have a peach tree and this is my Zen bridge. I'm actually really proud of it. So back over at the beginning, I have this little cafe area outside of my museum. I keep all of my fossils out here. And I have some stuff that people can take when they come visit me. Another beach, I don't really have anything on this beach yet, but if you go up here, nope, we're not going up there. We're going over here to the cemetery. It's been a while since I filmed this. I don't remember the order I did things in. So this is my cemetery and it is supposed to be like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, yeah, what's next? I'm interested to see where I go from here. Okay, so now we're going over to the right. And we're gonna go see resident services, which is tucked away in this little thing with waterfalls around it, cool. And then if you keep going this way, I have a puppy, some villagers, and I have this little area over here with flowers and a snow boy. All right, now we're gonna run back to the beginning. Okay, now we're gonna go up here, which takes us to my pretty little lake and then the shopping district. I have another little cafe with a piano, my Able Sisters, and of course my cranny. There it is. Oh, wait, oh, oh, there it is. What's next? Oh, we're gonna go over this little bridge, which is gonna take us over to Nibbles' house. I love Nibbles. Okay, next we're gonna go to Alfonso's house. Next is going to be Gail's house. The two alligators are right next to each other. Alligators? Crocodiles? I don't know exactly what they are. Anyway, they're cute and that's all that matters. This is Cherry's house. Cherry's house. Cher ch Cherry's house. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna run, 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 run. Murphy's house. Perfect, perfect. And then we're gonna go see Sherb's house. There it is. So cute. I love Sherb's house. I love Sherb. He's just adorable. And then we're gonna go down. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I gotta shoot down this balloon because I'm trying to collect all of the seasonal DIYs. You, you hear me? And guess what? A seasonal DIY. Snowflake wall. Learning that right now. Cool. Now we can get back to it. Let's go see. Oh, this is Sherry's house. And this is where I'm putting all of my rocks. So I don't actually have the patience to do that whole thing where you put stuff down on your island and then um, destroy all the rocks so they all pop up where you want them. So what I did is I created the spot where I wanted my rocks and then I destroyed all my rocks and I just keep doing that every day. And I already have three that just happened to spawn in the points that I want them to, which I know is gonna take me forever, but I cannot bring myself to actually do the work to get them there um, right away. So anyway, moving on. This is where I keep my turnips while I'm waiting to sell them. There's a little waterfall. Back down through the cemetery again. And then we're gonna go to my house, I think. Woo! <laughs> so you have to climb up these stairs and then you have to hop across this little river. 
and then go downstairs and this is my own little valley where my house is <laughs> it's so cute i love it so much <laughs> okay so this is my living room i use the snow sleet 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 sco, sk, ski slope flooring because it kind of looks like white carpet with vacuum lines so i, I just kind of like that okay this is my bathroom slash laundry room Next we have my home gym, my little workout room, which has a cool little record player in it. I'm not sure why, but yeah, this is where I work out in game. Onto the kitchen. I decided to do um, kind of like a nautical theme, beachy, whatever theme for my kitchen so I have like a few little anchor things and seashells and stuff so I do have two bedrooms in my house to show my two different aesthetics so downstairs is my vampire bedroom the, this is where a vampire would live. I have a cool base and it's really dark down here. It's normally darker, but I turned on the lights for this tour. I have a little hot tub and yeah, so this is where the vampire me would live. And then the upstairs is all girly and pink and I love this bedroom. It's so cute. I have my little dollhouse, my soft serve lamp, and I even have a little bathroom in here, like an ensuite. So, yeah, I, this is like what I would live in all the time, except for when I'm a, a vampire. As I say that out loud, I realize that that's kind of a weird thing that I did. Anyway, let's go see the rest of my island. So I have a little dog and a little snapping turtle out here, my friends. Then I go down to my little beach area and now we're getting into the Skyrim themed part of my island so there's a little skeleton in a cage and here's a little market and my dock and then I also have a little hidden area up here that I based on like if you ever played Skyrim you know that there are like um caves that you can go into and this is kind of what they look like and I have the little dark brotherhood handprint that I made <laughs> so cute um, and this is the view of my house from up here I just really love this area the right side of my island is probably my favorite side of my island if that makes sense anyway um, if you go up this beach you go to my little outdoor Skyrim themed restaurant and I also have another house on my island that is decorated for as a Skyrim. I want to make it like a Skyrim Inn, but right now I'm working on getting more bedrooms added to it. So I don't have anything in the other two rooms right now. This is all I have. So it's coming along. I'm excited to see what I can do with it overall. Okay, so if we go up here, this is a little garden place that I made. I don't even know what you would call this, but I just really love it. I put some star fragments up there on that cliff because I thought that might look cool. And I have a little well over here. So if you go up from here, it takes you to my campsite. And I've been using those uh, kids' tents. And I think it adds so much to that campsite. Oh, and this is my other little mermaid beach thing. <laughs> uh, my moon is up there. This is like the actual campsite where campers come visit me and then this is a little bridge that goes over to this little garden thing where I make my gold roses <laughs> my secret beach for red to bring me artwork and then if you go over this way this is where I keep my gold roses and my money trees it's a little messy right now because I was cutting down money trees to pay for my Skyrim house rooms okay back over here if you go up the Zen bridge this is my kitty corner, the kitty corner. This is where all my 
feline villagers live. They have their own little beach and a little waterfall here. And if you go up the stairs, this is Lolly's house. She's my favorite cat villager. She has her own little picnic area. And then the next, oh, they have their own little secret beach up here too where they have little playground stuff. And then the next villager over here is Felicity. And then next to Felicity, we have Mitzi. Mitzi. And then that's where the money tree garden is. So that's like the top left hand corner. All right, so now I want to show you some secret entrance, like secret tunnels I have. So this one goes from the kitty corner over to the lake. And then you can go up the stairs right here and it go, takes you to the rest of the neighborhood. Or you can go all the way across and it takes you to my cool little garden and campsite. And then when you're up at Nook's Cranny, you can go across the bridge to Nibble's house. And if you jump across here, it takes you directly to my little stepping stone thing that takes you to my house. So that's how I can get to the cranny from my house quickly. And then I also have one at my Skyrim house that goes around under Nibble's house over to the front of the island. So I had to put in some of those weird tunnels because I had to go all the way around my island, like all the way around the outside to get anywhere. And it was really annoying. So yeah, back at Resident Services, that's Sunnydale. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.